Hey everybody, Dave here from Terrestre Studios and I'm excited to uh, be back to juicing again so I thought maybe I'd share with you guys and see if I couldn't inspire you guys to get juicing some fruits and vegetables and uh, in today's video I'm going to be doing some broccoli microgreens which I've never juiced microgreens before um, I've gre juiced greens many times in this, this juicer I also want to introduce you to this um, it's a slow juicer because it's a masticating juicer but it's also a slow juicer because you have to crank it um, by hand to get your juice so um, and I'll put a link to this an Amazon link to this below in the description um, I really love this thing you know we do have a centrifugal juicer and we have another juicer that's electric too that's more like this um, but uh, but I really love this one and it really doesn't take that much time to you know to crank your juice as opposed to the motorized one but anyway I'll show you this closer and um, then I'm going to juice up some of this and, and give it a taste test and we'll see how these greens do in here um, yeah anyway let's get into it I'll show you closer okay guys so here is the juicer and it has a little suction you just suction this this is unsuctioned and this is suctioned just turn that and that's pretty solid but it also does come with another clamp that if you want to um, and there's a clamp that goes in this little spot here and then clamps onto the edge of the table um, you have to make sure that you have a handle where you can you can turn it and this is the cup it sits in there like that and there's a little spout where the juice comes out is right down in here right down here so it goes into this and then um, gets strained a little bit more by the screen and here here's the veggies um, I don't know if I mentioned but the, these are broccoli microgreens and microgreens are 4 to 40 times more nutrient dense than their um, parent plant so um, you know I figured juicing the microgreens would be a great way to get a super um, amount of healthy antioxidants and um, I've got mostly vegetables because I just want to keep the, um, the sugar down a little bit I don't want to use fruit today um, but it would be good with an apple or something like that too so anyway guys I'm gonna set this up and I'll, I'll show you a little bit of uh, juicing at regular speed and then I'll just kinda speed it up so we can get to the to the taste test okay guys so I'm gonna put in a carrot first and it just kinda chunks it off I'll give you guys a view of the uh, of the actual side of the juicer in a second and then I'll do a little celery so I'm keeping an eye on the clock it's just five o'clock now see how many minutes this takes me so here's a better view guys so you can see as it um, it's like a big corkscrew and it just drives everything up into this point here and there's like a metal tip up in here that pushes it against the uh, the inner inside of this which has a metal in it and there's the pulp it comes out here and I just put a bowl there and um, so I'm gonna go ahead and juice some more and take a look at it from this angle I'm gonna try these these broccoli microgreens in there and uh, you know this would be awesome with apple or something I just tonight I just felt like I would just try to not go down not to have too much sugar so I'm just um, putting some more putting the microgreens in I don't know if they'll go in easily or not I've been kind of pushing them with a carrot and you can see the pulp comes out quite dry and this this is a little hard to turn but it's not terribly hard and this this knob on the end here adjusts um, if you have that really tight you get the driest pulp and if you have it looser then it lets more moisture out so now that little chunk of of uh, carrot didn't want to go down there so you have to kind of push it now some celery so I'll just speed through this now guys and then I'll show you when it's done and I'll let you know how long it took put some pepper in there
So guys, here's the juice. Just that just tucks under there. Um, and there's a little screen in here. And you can see it got a little bit more fiber right there. But I'm going to um, screen it again with this finer sieve because I like my juice very um, pulp free. And that was the uh, that was all the fiber that came out of it right there. So I'm going to pour this into here. It took me about eight minutes to do the juice, and of course there's there's probably another ten minutes cleanup time. That's a good eight ounce glass there because this is a twelve ounce. So that's more than eight ounces there. Put that there. So the color is um, you know, because of the orange and green, it's kind of a little brownish color. But it's um yeah, they all come out a little bit different depending on, you know, what color of green depending on what you put in there with it. Well guys, that took about 8 minutes to juice and about 10 minutes or 8 minutes, 10, 8 to 10 minutes to clean up too. So about, you know, 20 minutes in total and I didn't even include the time that it took me to prep the veggies. So it is a slow, you know, process, but even even an electric juicer takes a while with the cleanup and all, but it really is a really is a good thing, a nice thing to do for yourself to make yourself some fresh healthy juice. Um, very rich in antioxidants, very alkalizing to the body, which is very beneficial too. And um, it's nice to experiment with different blends, you know, try different things. And it's great for those of us who grow because we often have, you know, too much of one thing or another. And um, this is a good way to use up some of those extra greens and extra microgreens where you might have grown a little bit more than you needed. And because uh, we all usually do that if we're into growing a lot. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to taste this and let you know what I think. Mm, very good. Not not sweet, but not just enough sweetness so that um, it's enjoyable. But you know, but not sweet. Anyway, guys. I want to um, thank you all for watching, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, oh, this is the uh, original Healthy Juicer is what it's called, and I did find it on Amazon, so I'll include a link to it. I did notice that they had some very inexpensive ones that were like $23, but uh, I don't know if I would trust that because this more expensive one has metal. I would want to make sure you have metal up in the front where it presses because you wouldn't want plastic you know, wearing or wearing off into your into your food or juice um, because that front part takes a lot of a, a huge amount of pressure up there but like I said this one has um, you know lined with steel on both uh, the auger and the um, inner part of this cap so um, I see maybe I could even show you anyways um, this one now is about eighty four dollars so you know those um, less expensive ones may not be hardy enough I don't know I would like to try one you know because I saw one for twenty three dollars but I can't imagine it has the metal like this one here and the, on the end of both both surfaces that are going to press the juice have the stainless steel so anyway guys that's it for today just a quick little video to to share with you my my new um I'm going to try to make it my new habit because I think uh, the green juices are really healthy and I and I enjoy them. And uh, it's a nice little thing to do. So anyway guys, I hope you're all well. And uh, remember, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.